Hey there, so this week we have another weekly blog. Now, be sure this is just a quick summary. Be sure to read the rest of the blog for all the examples, the hyperlinks, all that other good information that we give you in order to help you provide value each week. So what we talk about this week is the idea of a good goal, a good idea versus a must idea. There's a big difference. Good idea, we get hundreds, thousands of those a day. The must idea, those are the ones that we put into action. Those are the ones that we use to support our one goal and to get us where we need to go. Um, the criteria is first, it's got to be simple. If you make it too complicated, you're never going to do it. Make it easy, make it simple, make it straightforward so there's no reason to not do it. Secondly, make it actionable. It's got to be something you can do and you're going to do consistently. You're going to do it all the time. It's not something where like you don't feel like it one day. This is a simple doing action type of idea. And then it's got to be consistent, right? You got to do it all the time and you got to add things and set triggers and reminders and calendars and ticks, whatever it takes to be sure that you're doing this action, this must idea all the time. Now, once you have that action, once you have those habits created, once you're doing this thing and it's supporting your goal, you need to assess and reassess. Now, in the blog, I have a bunch of questions to ask yourself to make sure that you're looking at these actions and that they're actually supporting your one goal. I do talk about the idea that sometimes you need to flex it, you need to adjust it. Maybe you're getting um, not the results you expected. Maybe you're getting better or different results. Maybe it's taking you in another direction you didn't think about. Um, and don't forsake that. Don't just blow it off just because it wasn't what you originally had written down. Sometimes I can take you to a really cool place and you get to do a lot of other different fun type activities. So be sure you're reassessing. And we talk about in the blog, as you see underneath, um, every Friday, at least every Friday. Um, maybe even more, maybe Monday and Friday. You're just constantly assessing, reassessing, and thinking about how it's following through your one goal, how it's supporting it, and how well it's going, and if you got to do any changes. Um, and then we finish up by the idea of tracking. Tracking means you're, you're keeping tabs, you're a scoreboard of how well those actionable, simple ideas are getting you to that one goal. And if it's not a trackable uh, type event, it's not a trackable situation, then really you're just doing it for fun, which is fine too. It's fine that if you're just kind of doing it for yourself, but just do know that that's not really a support for your goal. That's more of a mental thing, which we all need sometimes, like a break or whatnot, but not necessarily um, working with the simple um, goal and the must-have idea that we're talking about today. So feel free, read through, see all the different actions, feedback, let me know what else you need, other kind of questions you got, um, other topics you want to cover, other ways that I can help and provide some kind of value, some insights, make you think about how things are going in your life, because I know that I do this blog for myself every week, but if you get a chance to get something out of it too, that's great. So hit us up in the comments, see you next week.